hi guys welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how you can do mirror polish onto stainless steel so we do a lot of decorative work with stainless and often some of them has to be done mirror polished so that's why i decided to make a video over this topic although i already made a content over this particular topic in the past and uh, the major difference between both the video is that in our previous video we use flap wheels to do the polishing process while in this particular video we are using velcro type disc to attain a mirror polish so main disadvantage of using flap wheel is that it will leave some gouging marks onto the metal surface and once the metal is completely finished these gouging will be visible with naked eye although not every customer is aware of these defects but as a seller i always want my product to be look premium and that is the major reason why i switched to velcro pad the major advantage of using velcro pad is that no matter how rough you do the initial grinding with the help of these pad you can easily blend out the scratches and make the surface much more flat comparatively to the flap wheel and in order to show you the result i am doing the polishing onto this small step stool so on to the table we have all the necessary items placed which are required to do the polishing on stainless so in the first row we have fiber disc backing pad along with the velcro disc pad which can be used with an angle grinder so this is a 5 inch backing pad for the velcro disc you are only able to use the abrasive with the help of these pads so if we talk about the pricing then using velcro pad for polishing is much more expensive comparatively to the flap wheel in the second row we have the fiber disc the grid size usually start from 36 grit and end it up to 120 grit although in pneumatic die grinder you can get these discs in much finer grit size but for a 4 inch angle grinder we have these pads only up to 120 grit so you can clearly see the color difference between two of these discs we have a green and red color fiber disc so green disc is made out of zirconia and the red one is made out of aluminium oxide and as far as the price is concerned the zirconium disc is twice expensive comparatively to the aluminium oxide wheel but they will run three to four times longer than the aluminium oxide the choice is completely up to you which wheel you are going to use but according to me if you are working on stainless then zirconia is a better choice then in the third row and fourth row we have aluminium oxide velcro pads the grid size of these pads start from 60 grit and goes up to 800 but although they came in much finer grits also and uh, I think they go up to 10,000 grit but in our case 600 grit is uh, fine enough to attain the mineral polish along with this we have this felt wheel and this is a 4 inch angle grinder felt pad we use this for buffing purpose along with some buffing compound along with this buffing wheel we have a variable speed regulator onto the table and the major advantage of this regulator is that you can reduce the grinding speed to much slow rpm which we require while using velcro pads small downside of velcro pad is that you cannot use them on a high rpm in that case it will worn out a lot more faster comparatively to the slow speed if you have a variable speed grinder then you can use that but uh, they are a little bit expensive and these regulator costs you two to three hundred rupees and you can use them on different types of tools as well on the other side we have a finishing sander which we are going to use to blend the scratches in the polishing process this will make your work much easier you can use round orbital sander in which velcro pad can be used but this tool you can use these type of sanding belts and that is much more economic than using a velcro pad 
so now i'm going to make a steps tool and show you the polishing process on this so you can see here how the piece is going to be look like Since we have to weld legs onto the corner, that's why we have to grind the frame first. So here we are using 60 grit fiber disc and here aim is to maintain a flatness during the grinding process. You don't have to apply too much pressure onto the wheel. Just move your hand in a steady direction and let the wheel do its work. If you try to push it harder then it will deteriorate at faster rate and also leave some deep gouging marks which are difficult to remove so while using the velcro disc the major thing you need to remember is that make sure to use a slow speed that's the only way to get more out of these discs after that i use finishing sander to blend all the scratches and you can see the result in the end These fiber disc also has an issue which is that the periphery gets worn out first and since they are expensive I want to use them entirely so to utilize them I am using a piece of carbide bit I make sure it will be sharpened enough and use that to cut the excess worn out piece. This is a dangerous work to do so make sure while doing this hold the grinder in a bench wise and and then turn on the grinder and use a sharp carbide tool to trim out the excess and also make sure to stay away from the direction of rotation of wheel I have multiple backing pad which I trim down to the smaller size and use them for a smaller tight areas after that I weld the middle pieces and then the legs and then we are able to start the polishing process Now we reach to 600 grit at this point we use some lubricant in my case I am using WD-40. This lubricant increase the life of the pad and also give you much better result in removing the finer dust.
now while using the pad most of the time only the outer periphery gets worn out so in order to utilize the entire pad I am using these bearing races and trim the area using a hammer. I sharpen the outer periphery of these races and use that to cut the excess material. I have these bearing races of all the different sizes and use them on these small size velcro pads. Once everything is done, it's time to buff the surface. With the help of this felt disc and buffing compound, I buff the surface. If you want a much better polished result, it is good to heat the surface. If you rub the grinder onto the surface 4 to 5 times, then it starts to heat up and in that state, the buffing will be done at a much faster rate. So once these steps are followed, it's not really that difficult to buff the surface to a mirror finish and the end result is in front of you without gouging and other artifacts. So that's pretty much all about this video and uh, if you like the video and you learn something then definitely hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this then suggest us the content down in the comment section down below till then goodbye have a great day